begin tonight with breaking news. Traffic just starting to move on 75, eight hours after a fatal wreck. This is a live picture near the Mitchell Avenue exit. Again, traffic just starting. We mean just literally in the last couple of minutes starting to move there. Yeah, now here is what caused all of this. A fiery wreck involving two semis this afternoon. Take a look at that smoke and you see the flames right there. Two people are dead and traffic uh, was a problem there for a while because of that cleanup that they had to do. Local 12's Christian Hauser has been following this breaking news since it happened. He is live along the interstate for us tonight. Uh, Christian, good news, they just opened up traffic. Still a, a tragic situation there. Yeah, that's right, Adam. The southbound lanes, which you can see behind me going from left to right on your screen, they just opened up traffic, uh, lots of traffic here trying to get through. But on the other side, the northbound lanes, those are still shut down. They have more extensive work to do on the median on that side. That traffic's being diverted to I-74 while those crews work to fix that concrete median. Skyview 12 gives you a view of the crash. Police say just after 3, the white tractor trailer smashed the gray one, nearly head on. We can see where the southbound semi lost control, crashed through the concrete barriers set up during construction, and ended up in the northbound lanes. That big rig caught fire, and both the driver and passenger died at the scene. Traffic has been at a near standstill in both directions since mid-afternoon, at times backed up to the Norwood Lateral one way and the Western Hills Viaduct the other. The problems will persist for some time. What will take place tonight uh, in order for us to get everything fully restored is that uh, we will have to make some repairs to that median barrier wall. So we anticipate that to take some time. Northbound has considerably more cleanup that needs to take place. So we are expecting that not to reopen until at least midnight tonight. Um, again, everything is just contingent upon how quickly the uh, crews can get out there and get things restored. So hopefully everything does go smoothly and they are get, able to get all this repaired uh, around midnight or so, but it could be well into early morning. Now, if you do have to take I-75 north from uh, northern Kentucky or from the Banks area, you want to get on 71, head up there, and then just come over on the Norwood Lateral and avoid all this mess if you can. Uh, but I will say right now traffic is actually moving fairly well compared to what it was just a few hours ago. Live in Camp Washington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. All right, Christian, thank you for that update. Now, that is the second fatal incident involving a semi in just the last two days. Uh, this was the scene yesterday, just a few miles north near the lateral. Police say the driver, Larry Cox, lost control of the big rig and then flipped. He was trapped inside. He died. No one else was hurt.